Yo, good morning. Right, it is episode three of the GHC Weekly. So if you haven't seen the others, where have you been? Links above your head somewhere. Here, 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 here. So this week has been absolutely mahoosive. So we have got so much done. And also it's been completely stressful. So crane, crane. Yes, I am saying a crane. We've also stripped the roof off one of the houses and we have Kev, Kev the crane guy. He was absolute legend. His dad started the business, but you know, what can I say? We've also had me lose my head because we lent some kit out. I've come to use it after a little while and guess what is broken. Fantastic, thank you very much. Really appreciate that because that cost me another hour and a half out of my life and more money. Brilliant, thank you. So we've also had some temporary supplies I've had to do for an EV job. So we've had to put in a socket for a granny lead and also when I went to sort out the oven, which should have been a straightforward job, which it never is, is it? Because I'm now having to install a 10 mil supply from one end of the house to the other, which is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So I think that's enough. That's enough for me to take on. So I'm just coming to do the editing and I have forgot quite a few other jobs that we've done. I've got a temporary supply out for the boys when they come to do the rendering finally on the big build. Done that because Shawnee was moaning, saying, oh, am I gonna fill up with buckets and taps and how's that gonna happen? So I've sorted him out. I've also done the instant boil. I've also plumbed the sink in. I've also done the hob. So there's absolutely tons going on in this. So. What can I say? It has been stupid busy, and I think that deserves a subscribe. So if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do, and uh, let's get into it. Oh, one more thing, I nearly forgot. Um, it's Friday today, and I am always doing my editing on a Friday, and it is also the Alex show in Coventry, which I am going to in about two hours time. So you never know, there might be a little bit of content for that. It just depends whether I get a chance to put it in, but it's so busy. Yo, so we're at the big build, as you can see. So it's actually a really, really busy day today. It's a big day. So they're just stripping off the tarp because we've got the crane coming and we're gonna hopefully get all this uncovered, new trusses up, covered back over before it rains. What do you reckon? So Steve is just getting the battens off. So the crane is gonna be here early this morning. The trusses were supposed to be delivered and they were supposed to be down there but for some reason they nailed four together as a stack is that right steve four together as a stack or something yeah something like that so then now obviously coming back hopefully at the same time as a crane being here um and they can crane them all off so we're just going to strip the roof fold all the tarps put them down and get them sorted so I better get off this and give a hand because it's all very time sensitive today So this is one of the like triples that are going in and then all the way through. So it's all a bit of a bit of a big day, big day today. The crane, as you can see, crane um, is now starting to get all the trusses off, which is fantastic. We've just took out the last truss on there near the gable end and I think we're all ready to go. So they're just getting all the trusses off the lorry and down onto the deck so it's a bit safer to work like that. And then it's get them up. Now remember, this is the GHC Weekly. If you wanna see the full episode of this, of how we've gone about installing all of the trusses and the full episode, be sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn notifications on so you don't miss any of it.
Right, I was supposed to be doing some industrial units for a tree surgeon. So I've got some lights to put in. It's a brand new uh, barns, it is a set of triple barns. I'm supposed to be doing that. But I am waiting for some parts delivery now, which is a bit of a pain. I was supposed to be here yesterday, but they've sort of lost in transit. So they're gonna, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're gonna be here today. And if they are, then hopefully I'm gonna get over to that one, depending on what time they get here. So one of the jobs that I'm gonna be going to do, uh, which you'll see in a second, is I'm going to be going to put an outside socket on, ready for the EV charger, bear with me, bear with me. So the EV charger is gonna be coming up at a later date, just gotta book them in for that. So we're putting a temporary socket on the outside, say temporary, semi-temporary, um, for so they can use the granny, granny charging system. Um, so let's go over to there, go and have a look at the job and see what we can do. Okay, so it is mega, mega windy. So I've done the job now. The reason why I can't film inside is because the client's working um, and I needed to keep the power on as quick as possible. But let me just run you through the job itself. I'll go and show you what I've done. So part of the job is we've got to come back and we've got to change the consumer unit. But for now, as a temporary measure, we are using the granny lead as you can see there. So we've just installed this outside socket from BG, which is fantastic, my go-to, as everybody knows. So we've managed to get the car up and running, some organ being tested. So just the other side of the wall, there was a socket on this wall. So what we've done is we've extended the cable round and surface mounted. So there's a few spur, just the other side, and then a double socket and there. Also on the job, I was due to install the cooker, the range cooker, but it has ended up being a little bit of a problem. So we'll jump inside and I'll go and show you and explain why I can't install that right now. So the client's not long moved into the house and we just bought, well, I say we, I've not, the client's bought this fantastic range cooker from Smeg. Now, it's got steam function and all sorts of jazzy tackle, but got a bit of an issue. As we can see, there is a six mil supply to it just left here. It is isolated, so we do not need to worry about the health and safety police. You can just back right off. So we've got a six mil and a 32 amp supply, but this absolute weapon is a 10 mil so she is saying on here we've got a 20 kilowatt maximum load so i have spoke to smeg at the old technical and what they have now said is yes when you apply all diversity factors and all the rest of it it still needs a 50 amp supply so to continue with the 10 you must always install with a 10 he said you cannot do this with a six it has to be changed over so which means we're gonna to have to put a new supply in we're gonna come up through the loft drop it down externally in armored and run it round and go in that way but for now I can't do any more to it we're gonna to have to just come back rebook and get it sorted so let's hopefully fingers crossed my delivery has been made and we can get off to the big build and go and see what those guys are doing now at the big build they've stripped off the roof because the roof trusses are being delivered today they may be there depending on what time i get to it and then we've got a big crane day tomorrow because the loft conversion has started so we're at the big build and one of the jobs that i am doing today is plumbing in all the sink so Jake's just coming to give me a hand because there's all these boards and stuff here. The waste, I've got to sort the waste out now. I've just done all the, the plumbing bits inside, um, which I'll briefly show you in there. But we're gonna have to move these boards. Yes, all the back of it's all being rendered. So Sean's actually asked now whether I can have, well, whether I can have, whether he can have an outside tap whacked on. Um, just don't fix it properly because obviously it needs to be rendered. Then I've got to take it off and all the rest of it. So we're gonna rig that lot up as well. And then, I can get the waste in, but leave it far enough away that they can work and all the rest of it. So it's not gonna be pretty, but it's gonna be functional. Functional is the key. It'll be all right, just touch it, touch it, come here. Lewis used to be like this. <laughs> he pretends. Nice one, Jake, thanks, mate. 
I wouldn't really be that mean. I wouldn't throw a spider at him because that'd be horrible. So now we've cleared that area out. So we've got the drainage in here. This is all going to be landscaped as a, as a later date. Um, but we're going to get a waste in. We'll have to bring it further out and then drop down because I don't want it to be in the way. And then we'll put the outside tap, have that further off the wall as well, which is not ideal, but it's going to be better than not having water. Right, this is why you never lend your kit out to anybody. So just come to use to do this core drill for putting the waste in and the drift is bent like a banana and the six inch is absolutely welded itself on. Can't get it off. I've tried loads of different methods and I'm not very happy about it. So now that means I'm gonna to have to go down to screw fix to go and buy another one. Brilliant. Okay, so what I've done is try to make this as neat as possible, try and get you some decent angles in. So obviously we've got our mains coming in. We've also got mains going out to the rest of the house. We've got our hot feed here, and then we've linked across. So we've put that temporary, well, the isolator's not temporary, but we've got the temporary uh, cold tap outside, and I'll explain more in a second. Then we've got our cold feed, hot feed for the tap, and then instant boil as well, and filter, which is their filter for that. This has actually been really easy to install, uh, that one. So first time for that, I've usually fit the Kuka ones, um, but actually really impressed with that. Go and check those out. It's not paid by them at all. It is just a little bit of a shout out for those. Um, but yeah, the gunmetal sink and the gunmetal tap really like that in fairness really smart bit of kit so let's go outside and i'll show you what i've done in the temporary format so as you gathered i was in a proper mardi i lost my head i had to go and get the new bits replacement some 40 quid down plus my time plus the fuel and all the rest of it winner um so yeah so it's really annoyed me so what i've done for shawnee um, and also because the house is being rendered He's asked for a, an outside tap, so what I've done is put a full bore tap and isolator on, made that. It is really long off the wall, which it is for a reason, because when they render all this, I don't want them to um, moan or complain about anything, because it just needs to be done and make their life easier. I've also not solvent weld welded the waste on because again if they're trying to get the, the hawk in or whatever they have got the option of just removing that if they need to um but yeah so another little job done so hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh yeah we can get out of here and we'll see you on the next weekly look after yourselves <laughs>